Okay, this is a 2013 Toyota Prius V, and it's the third generation, of course. Now, if you own one of these, you probably had issues with oil circulating through the PCV back into the throttle body, basically flooding the intake with oil and making a general mess of your entire intake system. Not to mention consuming a lot of engine oil. Now, I grant, I'm not a YouTuber. I don't make YouTube videos. I probably should have filmed this whole thing, but if you've worked on these, you'll get this instantly. So I've gone through and I've kind of corrected this issue. And the main problem with these cars is that the PCV valve is mounted on the side of the engine block and it's mounted horizontally, which of course is not a good idea. They fill up with oil they spit that oil back up and around a very short distance in a U-shaped pipe. So this is the issue again with this particular car. What we've done here is a really simple fix. Uh, I've never seen it done before. I wanted to try it and it's working flawlessly. I followed the advice of Nuts About Bolts and their video on how to install an, an oil catch can in these cars is really top notch. It, it's helped me a great deal. But I wanted to take it to the next level because changing the PCV valve on this car is a lot of work because essentially all of this has to come out. So when I bought this kit from Amazon, this came with a number of fittings. Now, if I recall correctly, the thread size for the PCV valve on this car is a 16 1.5. This catch can comes with extra fittings exactly that size. So instead of installing a new PCV back into this car, I put the fitting for a half inch hose. I ran the half inch hose up and I ran it into this fitting that I, I just made real quick. And this holds the original Toyota style PCV valve. And this is merely just something that I kind of TIG welded real quick. And it's got a half inch fitting on the bottom. So it goes from a half inch to a 3 8. The 3 8 feeds back into here, our little catch can. And I just TIG welded up a little bracket real quick. And 3 8 out, goes back in, follows down into the intake manifold. Now on the intake manifold, what you're going to find is that it has a horseshoe shaped hose. What I did is I took that hose that's shaped like a horseshoe and I split it and then twisted it around and put a coupler in the middle for that specific size. And that allowed me to take roughly what was a 5 8 inch hose down to this 3 8 And then I went through and heat wrapped everything. And you can see the shrink wrap right there to seal the um, heat protective coating right there. And it overall, it turned out really clean. It, it, it works wonderfully. Um, I didn't get too high tech on routing because I wanted it to be literally a three minute change of the PCV. So if this PCV goes bad, it will take maybe three minutes to change. And by moving it up in this position, what we're doing is we're making the oil through the blow by come up the line. So it's going to have to creep past this valve and then go in our catch can and then go back out. Before it would just plug up the valve but now it actually has to make a higher journey up which means the oil will probably go part way up and then drip back down into the crankcase to serve its purpose. Whatever does blow by again will come up in here we can remove it from the catch can and then feed back in. Now this particular Prius has 161,000 miles on it the intake was saturated with oil. So we changed the plugs, cleaned the uh, intake ports from the intake manifold into the head, and it's running like it was brand new. So again, I, I know I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not a big video guy, but this is something, that, again, if you've worked on these cars, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Make yourself something like this to relocate the PCV valve and relocate it so it's pointing somewhat in a more vertical direction, vertical being the key. Because on most older, especially American-made cars, 
you'll always see the PCV valve sitting somewhere on the top and that is for a specific reason. They put them on the top to allow blow-by to more easily exit the engine without passing such a large quantity of oil. This basically puts it back to where it would be designed if it was a, a little more efficient, let's say, and not the way that Toyota did it. I, I dearly love this car. It's been a wonderful vehicle. But every car has a minor flaw. The flaw with these cars is the location of the PCV valve. So this is a quick, easy fix. Anybody can do it. Um, we can pull this out and check it. I've already driven it for about 30 miles. And even with the PCV valve mounted higher up, it did actually still catch some oil that was blown by. So hopefully this helps. Again, I know it's a terrible video, but the idea is there, and I'm sure you'll get it. All right, thanks everyone.